video's a, a video on installing the new vintage gauges in a 93 Chevy C1500. Uh, and um, these are the gauges with the uh, factory bezel going around the outside and the factory um, polyglass going around the gauges. You could do it either way. You could leave the polyglass off, however you want to do it. Um, here's the back. You may have seen it in my other videos. Um, one thing I didn't mention in my other videos is um, I spaced them out a quarter inch closer to the uh, dash bezel because I wanted to um, make up this area in here so it wasn't so far away. I'll show you that when I get it in. And then um, here's the uh, wiring um, schematic diagram, whatever you want to call it, that I came up with for this uh, truck. You can see um, right there is, right here is the, uh, is the uh, factory wiring harness colors. This is the gauge colors and what they do. Same on this side. Factory harness colors, gauge colors, and what they do. And uh, that's for a 93. Now, yours may be different. You'll have to check it out. This is for a 93 OBS, regular cab. So um, it might work on an extended cab, might work through 94, might work 88 to 94. I don't know. I, I only have the uh, wiring um, diagrams for the uh, 93. Unless you go on the internet, and I, I don't trust any of that. So, um, that's that. Here's it wired up in the truck. Um, I like to um, stagger my um, butt connectors down here. And not put them all in the same spot so I don't end up with a big old giant lump. Now, with a little bit of that harness sticking out like that, it's pretty hard to stagger this many wires, you know. Uh... Usually I like to get them uh, away from each other, but um, the harness is too short to do something like that. So uh, I just staggered them as much as I could. These, uh, you got program buttons. They come, I put them in the um, ashtray down here. Right, uh, right there. That's the program button for the speedometer. And for the um, tack to program them, um, you could read that in the instruction manual. Um, so I just tucked them in down there. They do tie into this uh, main harness right here, one on each harness. And then don't forget this this is your um, light for your shift indicator. Um, so you, you need your gear selector indicator. So um, you got to wire that in. I just wired it into a ground and uh, in, into the uh, dome light or uh, lighting for the gauges, and uh, that's how I did that. Now I talked about the hole back here you need. Now, I wouldn't cut this whole thing out because this is the weakest part of the dash because you're going over the top of the steering wheel here, so you lose a lot of structure getting over the steering wheel. So I wouldn't take any more structure out of the dash than that. I don't even like taking that much, but it's a necessary evil if you want to uh, change the gauges from going 85 miles an hour to uh, 140. Um, and the tack from 5,000 to uh, 8,000, um, you just got to make some uh, adjustments and go ahead and do it. And um, I took the steering wheel off to get in here with the drill and all, but just make it easier. It's going to be working back here for a couple, three days, so... Here's what they look like all uh, taped up and ready to uh, install the dash and get everything back together. Um, plug for the speedo and the tack. And then here's the uh, plug for the um, uh, indicator, the shift indicator, what gear you're in. And uh, go ahead and get all this installed. See what it looks like. Here's what it uh, looks like uh, in and running. Gauge is all working, oil pressure, tack. 
Steel. Bolt. Temperature. Uh, I did move the speedometer to this side. I wanted it close to the fuel gauge. Um, so that's what it looks like mounted in there. And here's a shot with the uh, bezel on. And the gauge is all ready to rock and roll. Um, that's what it looks like. Alright, thanks for watching.